the one you looking for the messiah is here Shalom In my last video I have told you guys about my DNA but today after that video I have so many comments and so many people asking me a lot of questions I cannot give answer to everybody but I will try my best today to prove it to you that what exactly are M124 and where it came from. I have some articles which is not written by me, which is written by somebody else or researched by somebody else. And, and it's written in the Google. You can Google it down and you can find everything about RM124. The second thing that the other questions they have, uh, there are some people believe me and there are some people don't and I understand and I agree with them because there are some Muslims and there are some Christians uh, Obviously, they're not going to understand what Jewish people are talking about this Messiah Because according to them this Messiah a Dajjal or Antichrist that's what the Christians and Muslims are believing and that's why some of those comments me about that Messiah already came and he the next thing they are talking about the temple will come from above and rest on Jerusalem now all those things I can explain to you uh, the way you want either from the Old Testament or the New Testament. But I'm not going to go through this because I told you those things in my previous video why the temple is has to be built by physically with a human being first and then you all will see the God glory on the Mount Temple when the temple will be built. So the temple has to be built. Temple is not coming from above. Now, yes, son of man is coming from above. And there also the few of the rabbi, like uh, I forgot the name, uh, Alona and uh, another uh, Tovia, uh, they believe that son of man will come from the sky and the whole world will see. No, that is not true. The son of man did came and he rest upon me just like what it says in the Daniel chapter, Daniel chapter 7, 9, 7, 13 and 12, 13 or 12, 10. It says the many will be uh, purified and made spotless and, and the educations will be grow up uh, and people will have so much education and the knowledge that that lot of new things will be revealed through the computer. So what I'm trying to go over here is to let you know why I am telling you I am the one you are looking for. Now 20 years ago I had 50 billboard all over the Houston, Texas when I have told everybody who I am. I am the ancient one. The ancient one means somebody is old. Somebody was born before and come back. Now, another thing is to exist. Somebody exists. If he is exists, then he never died. So I am, I was born before and resurrected again. The soul of son of man is upon me. And that's through him I will be doing the word. But according to the word in Daniel chapter 12, 13, that God promised Daniel to come back. And that's who I am. The soul of the Son of Man is rest upon me and reveal me who I was and what I was and what I have to do. So that's how I've been telling you that who I am. I've been 
telling everybody i am the ancient one i am the anointed one i am the one you all looking for now there are few proof that i can explain to you that that i wrote it down and it's through the word so there is no misunderstanding between us so this is one of the proof that i told you in 20 years ago i told everybody i am the ancient one when son of man came from above on the daytime and the rest upon me the second thing it's written all those things in daniel chapter 7 9 7 13 and 12 13 so if you read those one you will understand now also again the chapter samuel samuel 1 samuel 2 isaiah jeremiah ezekiel malachi habakkuk haggai joel and malachi all those are pointing towards the messiah the branch the root uh, 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 son of david uh, all those things is mentioned on those chapter all those prophet talks about is talk about me that is branch is coming and i am that branch i am from the king david family and so a lot of people were asking when i said that i am from the king david family i'm one of his descendants i'm one of his son there they were asking me what is the proof and few of them wrote it down to ask me did i did i ever took my dna test and i said no i don't have to take my dna test because i know who i am and even if i take my dna test i know that i will directly connect it to king david family so anyway just to make everybody happy i did took my dna test and which came to the haplogroup jewish haplogroup rm124 which is very 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 rare in jewish community less than one percent so that article i got from one of the jewish uh, haplogroup rm124 and this is what it says i'm gonna read so you all will understand what i'm talking about jewish men in haplogroup rm124 usually but not always have an ashikanazi family history however they are genetically very similar to people whose ancestor lived in the ancient Babylonia and Persian Empire, known today as Iraq and Iran. Modern Jew from those religious religion region, sorry, are sometimes called Mazrachi Jew. Before the creation of the State of Israel, Mazrachi Jew usually characterize themselves as a shepherdic because they follow the tradition of shepherdic Judaism. Azekiah Zhu, who test as RM124, are sometimes surprised by the result because it is rare among Jews. Only about 1% of all the Jew men who have their Y DNA tested belongs to RM124. And many questions about what are their RM124 result means because the majority of Azik Zaya Jew that take Y DNA test belong to other groups which is like J1, J2, E, and G. But I am from RM124 and it is directly connected to King David if you go and research in the Google. Then the third questions they were asking me in the last uh, video, they commented if I am circumcised. Yes, I am. That's another proof 
the my DNA is another proof since I've been telling you before the my DNA test that I am the one you are looking for and that's how I am telling you again and again that I am the one the next thing is in Torah code now Torah code I had no idea about Torah code till when last year I was there on 5779 according to the Torah code that Messiah will come in 5779 in Jerusalem and I was there I was there and I had told so many rabbis that I am the one you all looking for but you know that over there is most of the Jew over there is Orthodox and it will be very hard for me to make them explain and understand even though I was on the donkey now when I was on the donkey I was there in the whole Jerusalem I was on the donkey whole day long and a lot of people see and the next thing was a lot of people see me in the sky at night so I was there on the next day and I was standing and there is one guy first of all stopped by in the motorcycle and he was Jewish and he told me wait a minute I saw you last night hovering on Jerusalem on the Mount Temple on the donkey and I know you are the one we are looking for now I have no idea about this guy and he suddenly come the same time then another two guys approached me and they were Palestinian now the first one was Jew the other two were Palestinian and they told me the same thing that we saw you last night in the sky on the donkey it was completely out of my mind but I knew it that could happen because I have seen myself sometime in other countries now on the same day another person came and told me the same thing so these are about three or four people when I was in Jerusalem the next day after I was on donkey they came and told me that we saw you on the sky hovering so there is not for everybody but there are certain people so that and they knows who I am and they believe me and but they were some of them Palestinian and the guy was Jew he's supposed to come and see me again but I had to come back to United States so that was the one of the another thing that people know over there then one of the taxi driver told me about this Torah code that if I ever see Torah code and so I went to my hotel and went to the Google and YouTube and start looking at the Torah code and in Torah code if you go to the record of house of David my name is each and every Torah code Sami, Sami will build the temple, Sami, Sami, Sami the Messiah. It's all over. And there is a one more article in the Torah code. And let me read that Torah code article. This is what it says. It's in my phone that I took the copy so I can show you. Here you go. This is what it says in book of Enoch. Now let's look at the relationship between the planet of Yahweh with Shiloh the Messiah. The book of Enoch described the Messiah as the son of man. See also Daniel chapter 7 13 and is described 
as angelical being more on that letter he was chosen and hidden with a guard before the world was created and he will exist forever shiloh meaning he whose it is until comes shiloh him the obedience of the peoples pre-existed and will exist forever and Yahweh upon his return Ezekiel 1 4 to 26 10 to 15 10 15 and 20 Isaiah 6 1 to 8 Daniel chapter 7 9 and 13 Psalms 146 10 book of 2 book of Enoch 20 1 to 21 will place him on the throne of glory to judge all creatures. Shiloh existed before the beginning of the time. Shiloh's chair throne now vacated on Nibiru, more on Shiloh as Bar Inosh in another video. The soul of Shiloh now resides on earth in the body of Descendant of King David. Now, this is uh, the last scriptures that what I'm talking about. It says it's in the book of Enoch, and it says the soul of Shiloh now resides on earth in the body of a descendant of King David, and that's how I've been telling you who I am, what I am. The Son of Man rests upon me. And that's how I know from June of 1999 when I was caught up in heaven and when they gave me a Torah and when they told me to digest. And that's what I did when I started reading. First three years I had read that Torah for I don't know how many times, hours and hours, nights and nights. And that's how I know who I am, what I am. And that's why I told everybody that I am the ancient one. I am the one you're looking for. Now, as you know right now, we are in the time is nothing but a trouble. There is a rumor of war is going on everywhere. The coronavirus is not stopping, it's just getting more and more and they are expecting in United States more than 2 million by end of July or beginning of the August and with they are expecting close to 250,000 people will die. So there is a one more thing is coming up pretty soon. Maybe they will shut down again, United States. Right now they all are open. The second thing that more than coronavirus, remember the before the temple built in Zechariah chapter 9, it says that before the temple will be built, there will be no jobs, no wages for human being and the animal so this is what is happening on today's news today's news there are another 1.5 million people apply for unemployment that makes 44.5 million people unemployed in united states that's a lot of people don't have no job so we are not we are in the recession right now but the bigger recession is coming coming months and right now i understand right now i pretty much understand that you all won't believe me and you all won't accept me and that's what 
going to happen. You're not going to accept me. And only way I will come is something big will happen. And then the I will intervene through God only. The God is the one going to put me. But you all not going to blame me. And you all not going to put me on my throne. And you all want to see something bigger happen. Rather than put me right now, let's start building the temple. Let's whole world see the God glory and the, all the world will come down. But if you don't put me on my time, then something big will happen. And that's how you all going to put. And on that time, there are a lot of people who are able to see the things they are waiting for. Because they all want to see the Messiah. Now, there are Pastor Kaneski. He's been telling you not to travel for the last few years. And absolutely, he's absolutely correct. Now, if you watch the Torah court, the Rabbi Glazerson, he's putting his Torah court for last few years and he's continued talking about Messiah is coming. And let me tell you one thing. I guess I believe him. You know why I believe him? First of all, because I know who I am. And second thing, I know I am the one you are looking for. The third thing, whatever he said that Messiah will be there 5779 before the Passover, I was there. I was there. It's correct. But you didn't accept me. So he's been telling you to repent. So you are expected that I may come back on 5780. But since 5779, I have my videos and I am trying to tell you who I am, what I am. Come and discuss with me, but you all haven't approached me yet. So now we are close to 5781. The 5780 will be over by end of the August and the 5781 <coughs> will be coming on very soon and maybe that's how I will be coming to my throne. The God is the one going to put me. Of course, I understand you all waiting for Elijah and Ben Joseph. And nobody knows when Elijah or Ben Joseph, who's going to come first or who is going to reveal himself first. But according to what I see, if I go through the word, from the Samuel, when God promised King David that his one of the son will be on the throne, then that prophecy will come first, which is Ben David will come first. Then you see that David comes and then the next thing, he meet the Jonathan. So then we can talk about the Jonathan is coming. And then in the last, in Malachi, the, uh, the Elijah will come. Now, Elijah is, as you know, that he was taken away. But I don't know. It doesn't say in the Torah that he will come back again with the chariot from up there to down. But he will come. Because he has job to perform. Just like I have job to perform. And just like Ben Joseph have to perform. The two, you can call two prophet. You can call two Messiah. Or you can call two anointed one. Which is the branch in, in Zechariah chapter 3. Two anointed one will come. And also in Revelation chapter, two anointed one will come. So, Two anointed one will have to come before anything else happen. So for the Christian, I am telling you again and again that read your Bible. Messianic hedge has to be come first. King David's son has to be on the throne. Third temple has to be built. 
all the Jewish people has to come back to the Jerusalem or Israel, which is belongs to them. The third thing is Torah will be preached all over the world. Now, either you take it from me right now and call me, especially those 70 rabbis from Sanhedrin. I am again and again pointing you this. Now, again, I'm not preaching over here. And if you ask me, there are a lot of questions I'm getting that why am I not preaching Torah? Torah has already been written. You want to understand? Read. It's very simple. It, it, it is not very hard to understand. More you read, the more understanding you will get. The, the faith comes by hearing the word. You need to read the word and you will understand. There is, there is not complicated at all. There is nothing complicated in the Torah. Now, so I'm not going to sit over here and preach Torah when I know who I am, what I am and what is my job. Now, either you accept me right now or it will be on a guard time. But it's time. It's time that we start building the temple. Now, remember, I was there last year and I know that my crown is ready. I know my clothes are ready. And I know that all the stuff we need for to build the temple is ready. So what you all are waiting for? What you all are waiting for? You all know that we have to build the third temple. Without the third temple, nothing is going to move. But nothing but a more trouble. You are giving a Satan a more time to perform his job. Then let Messiah do his job. So that's what I've been trying to telling you to sit down and, and, and see where you are going wrong. You all have done good job already. You already know what is coming, how it's going to be. Messiah will be performed, how he's going to be assured. You know everything because it's written. And, and the scholars in, in Torah, and they really detail in, I mean, they wrote it down in really in detail that there is no way you cannot, you can misunderstand. So why don't you just give me a call this time? Let's get together before 5781, because we are in right now 5780, 5781 around the corner. This is the month. Remember, I told you it's a Pentecostal month, June. I still have a few more days. Call me. Let's get together. Let's start building the temple. Let's put the first stone. Let's put the foundation. And you all will see the God glory. Just like what it says in Zechariah, the ten Gentiles will be walking with one Jew and telling them, that we know that God is with you and we want to go see the God. Now, the economy is getting worse all over the world. People are suffering. A lot of people are even hungry because there is a food shortage coming up. There is famine coming up. There are a bunch of things is coming up. It's already written. These are the signs. I'm not going to predict anything because everything is written. You can see through the sign. In, in last five months, the whole world shut down. Not only one country. The whole world shut down. There is only he can handle, not us. And he's the one knows what he's doing. But he has already told us everything. And right now is your time. Is your time. It's in your hand. To put me on my throne. And give me my crown. So I can start doing my work. Thank you. And I bless you.